Yeah, I mean, like, the, the, the worst thing you can do is to release your music to, so let's say, Bistro Kid or CD Baby, whoever, United Master. I released that motherfucker to uh, two core, but I'm going to change it to United Master. And, and, and then it just sits there. It don't get no strings. That's the worst thing an artist can do. You got to have a, a marketing strategy to get your promo. Promo that motherfucker link like Mills Marvel. Huh? Nah, they don't ban you. No problem. They took off a million songs. For 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 that artificial shit, man. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? That's how you do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like back then, I used to share like Facebook get on that SoundCloud, man. We're about to go on. We're about to go live. I'll show you the Apple Music so they show you Spotify. They say, well, hey, but show me an Apple. Because you know you can buy a Spotify. Well, show me an Apple. Show me a Visa. Then you know. Yeah. Oh, like, like out of 100,000 people only to see your music on Spotify. Right. Yeah, they oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, not no free link. I'm finna market that guy. Yeah, have the link with that money on that motherfucker. Y'all ready to tap in? Let's do it. Yeah, 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 it's your boy Homestead Slim, man. So that's my boy, Lil' Keith. You know, featuring that boy Chucky Trill. Say, man, who I got in the building with me tonight, man? Who I got in the building with me? Hey, you got 6400 more D, huh? D money. <laughs> that's what's up. Who else I got in the building with me, man? You got Cherokee ENT in this bitch. <laughs> hey, that, that, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, before we start this interview, y'all give me a second. If y'all don't like... What y'all about to hear, or if y'all don't like, if y'all got something to say, fuck you, okay? <laughs> if you don't like it, you don't have to. This is my disclaimer. Anything that you don't like is towards Homestead Slim, not for you to eat.com. Y'all ready to jump to this interview? Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Say, man, hey, y'all both can answer the question. Who was some of, what I just say, was it Saturday mornings? You know, when your mom cleaning up, she might got some records on. You know, was you in the backseat with your brother or your sister? Like, and when y'all heard that song, it was like, man, you know, that's dope. I can do that. What was that record, and who were some of your early musical influences? To be honest, I grew up on that, that page. If you only knew it, that was my mama's favorite song. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, yeah. If you only yeah. yeah, that page. <laughs> okay, yeah. I know where you at. I introduced that boy Thug, and that been my favorite rapper really ever since. Okay. That 9897. Okay, okay, okay. Same question, Leon. Man, Tupac, Pop Biggie. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? That yeah. boy goddamn Mace. I remember that Mace. You know <laughs> okay, little Mace. Yeah. Yeah, okay, is it, is it the is it the the mace with Puffy or the murder mace that was on the block before he signed with Puffy? Man, Which one? Man, that's fucked up, man. The mace with Puffy. Oh. <laughs> what the with sign that, is suit, man? Silver, with that silver CD with that money sign of that Yeah, box, yeah. You know okay, saying? okay. That bitch went hard. It, it, did, it did, yeah. it did, it did, it did. It was like, a commercial for me, but it went hard now. Yeah. It's always a rapper. Yeah, man. Hey, hey, let, let me ask you this. Let me let me ask you guys this. So, what are some of your creative ways? Do you do you guys like get the beat and then write, or do you already have it wrote? Do do, do you like sit on the toilet and, and write it while you shit? Do you like grow <laughs> you a blunt up? Do you ride around the car smoke? Are you or do you write four lines? At? What are some of you guys' creative processes when y'all writing this dope shit? Man, Whew. I write that motherfucker at work. <laughs> okay, <laughs> motherfuckers be coming in and shit. Like, can I have? Can I get it? Do you work yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm writing. I remember when I ain't had no car, I rode on the Metro from goddamn That's what's up. Homestead to motherfucking 59 and Gessner over there. You know what I'm saying? That, that other one, you feel me? I, I forget. Shit, I, 
I don't really smoke, but I hit that bitch by one, two times. <laughs> I get the, the smoke, the, get the writing shit, the rehearsal, and I come on stage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, about? okay. Shit. Okay. What, what are some of your processes? How? Oh, I, I play the beat once I hit a beat. Okay. I stop it because I get irritated at the beat playing while I'm trying to write, you know what I'm saying? All right, okay. I run, I run, I run like a first eight. I run it if I like it. I gonna finish and knock that motherfucker on that. Right on. You know right on. I ride around my notepads in the car now. I sit there, <laughs> right. write some shit. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna run this. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, when, when you when you in the booth, do, do is it just is it just you and the producer, or do you bring your entourage with you when you're recording that record? How, how do you go about recording the record? And then when you in the booth. Do you have the, info, the headphones low? Do you have them banging? What are your creative process? I know my listeners want to know, yeah, man. Yeah. What are, what's the process? I'm a naturally loud talker when I do talk. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But, like, my little entourage, they come to the studio, they all, they all fuck with the music. Right, So, okay. there ain't just no dry sitting around. Cause right. That's bad energy. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I, yeah, we get in there, but I'm loud with it because I like to hear myself over the beat. Right on. Nothing there to tell me one time, man. Take a headphone out. Yeah, 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 you loud when he tell you yeah, to do that. Yeah, so. what, what, what you got to say, you know? Shit, it just depends for me, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I'm a busy man, man. I'm yeah. out there working, grinding, yeah. keeping it street, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like preppy at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Trying to keep my circle small and stay out. Fucking HPD faces. Right. Man, you know what I'm saying? Cause them, yeah. Motherfucker. But yeah. it just depends to me, you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm doing a, a feature or something, yeah, we're going to rock out, you know what I'm saying? But... Me, I'm, I'm really solo on that booth. Me and the producer, man, so I can say what I got to say and be in my own zone. And, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But if I'm featuring, yeah, we can rock out. I know? dig it. I, I kind of consider myself, you know, a little bit on the old school news. Kind of in between. You know, I kind of consider myself, you know, have, have old school values, but I understand the, the new way. So I, I kind of can, you know, put my music here and there. Um, the, the old school way is kind of like, you know, I go to the booth, and you know, my, my OGs might be sitting around, or whoever might be sitting around, they'd be like, well, Slim, oh, man, you ain't say that right. Uh, uh, Slim, uh, man, you know, put some emphasis on the last word. And, you know, I'd be like, man, man, but, you know, today, you know, that's kind of like hating. The word constructive criticism is kind of like Good obsolete thing. right now. Good so how do you go about, you know, taking in good Good negative vibes and saying like it's a hate vibe. How do you decipher the two as an artist? You see, people gonna say what they wanna say, regardless. You know what I'm saying? You right. got motherfuckers making songs out here by toilets and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, right. People gonna say what they wanna say, man. You know what I'm saying? So good, good criticism, mm -hmm. bad criticism. To me, it just all real. But to be honest, I can't say hate. It's like shit. If you gonna criticize and watch me criticize with shit, although I, I, I guess I'm doing something good then, because yeah. I'm taking the time to to draw your energy right. on me. You know what I'm right. saying? Whether if it's negative or positive, you still watching me right. or whoever I'm fucking with. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah, we we blow up off the haters, man, and we blow up <laughs> off the good people too. You know what I'm right. saying? Keep the one thousand man. Right. Same question. Uh, it's like. If I know you fuck with my music and you telling me, nah, that ain't right, I'm going to go redo that shit because I know you fuck with it, but I ain't never knew you to fuck with my music and you tell me, nah, nah, that, nah, 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 fuck that. I'm going to keep it the way it is because <laughs> right. you be on some old shit like you right. want me to say it the way you say it so it won't make no sense. So I, I, I ain't going to go that route. I, I can dig it. I can dig it. Who are some of the producers that you have worked with and that you would like to work with? Uh, the, the latest producer besides my producer I fuck with was D10P Entertainment. Okay. Was Cal Wayne producer. Uh, mm. D D D I forgot his name. Dunn somebody. I just did a song with Cal Wayne like a okay. couple weeks ago. Okay. That was the latest like producer that I just really just fucked with. Okay. I ain't really got.